In this spot, we're going to be going back and revisiting the NECA toys, A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, The Dream Warriors, Ultimate Freddy Krueger. You guys have seen enough of these videos to know exactly how tall Freddy Krueger is, but nonetheless, Freddy Krueger is about seven inches tall. If you add the fedora, he's a little closer to seven and a half inches tall. Being also an ultimate Freddy, he comes with a ton of different accessories, one of which being the marionette version of himself, which, even though it's small, it does have posability. You can rotate the arms, the head, the hands, uh, nothing in the waist or anything like that. And uh, he does have a peg hole on the underside of his foot. But surprisingly enough, he doesn't come with the display stand. And I think somebody had asked or, asked or commented down below in the first video that I did of this guy, or at least of the Ultimate Freddy, saying that he did come with a display stand. I'm just going to reach off camera here, and I'm just going to bring in the clamshell, which is not something I, I tend to do too often. I'm just going to move Freddy over. And I'm just going to bring in the displace, the uh, the actual package clamshell, just to show you. Uh, so where everything goes is the house goes down here, which I won't put them all back in, but the house goes there. The alternate soul, the chest of soul torso goes there. The hat, the marionette Freddy, Freddy Krueger, of course, the alternate head, and the two hands. Uh, there is no place, actually, at all where a stand was included. I kind of checked the inside. I checked the inside of the box. Uh, this one does not seem to come with a display stand, so in case somebody was wondering or maybe had mentioned that he does come with a stand, sadly he does not. Uh, but he does have the peg hole that if you do had it, if you did have a stand, you know, you'd be able to display him with it. Now that's not to say though that the original Dream Master, or Dream Warriors Freddy, uh, may have had a stand for the guy, a little marionette, but uh, no, this one does not come with one. Face sculpts are actually pretty good on a, such a small representation of Freddy. It looks really good. And I think NECA is also planning on releasing uh, a marionette um, Freddy down the road. So looking forward to that as well. So it does come with a marionette Freddy. It does come with the house. As done in the beginning of the movie during the opening credits. It looks quite good. It looks a little on the faded side, which is something I've mentioned with... Uh, several of the ultimate figures it's like the paint doesn't seem as rich as their original releases but it does it does look good it does have like a little dirtied uh, display look to it and you can see the little popsicle sticks on the top and on the front and the little door there as well not really much you can do with it but i do appreciate when they include little accessories like this so we'll put that to the side he also comes with an alternate head sculpt And what's interesting about this is that I'm doing this figure, the re-review of this guy, after I had a look at the quarter-scale uh, Dream Warriors Freddy. Which, if you haven't seen that video yet, go check that out. But basically, everything, including the figure itself, I think, is this figure scaled up. Or a lot of times, the toy companies make them at larger scale, and they scale them down. But it's been pretty much the exact same figure, right down to the alternate head sculpt. Now, there is light piping. Let's see if I can reach off camera here and grab my phone. The, uh, the, the, I was going to say the alternate head does have light piping. And if I just get my phone here and I switch on my torch, you can see without hopefully blinding anybody, you can see that it does project through. There's the opening area where I hope nobody, nobody has been blinded in the process of this, but you can see that it does project the light through quite nicely when they apply, uh, when of course they're digging up his remains and putting in hallowed ground. So that looks quite cool, I like that. And again, just like the larger quarter scale Freddy also had that as well. Much like the quarter scale too, he does come with the fedora. So if you wanna hide the fact that he's got the crucifix on his head, 
the fedora actually does a pretty good job of hiding that. So you can kind of put that over top of it, which segues itself or this review to the included fedora, which uh, has been upgraded, of course, from the original uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger, which had more kind of a fold up the top here. In fact, I'm going to put this on Freddy Krueger here right now. And let's segue ourselves to the other Freddy Krueger. That's not the right one. Let's reach off camera and bring in the ultimate. This is the ultimate Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy Krueger, the 30th anniversary release. This is kind of the guy that started it all. You can see that there's vast improvements for paint. Um, this, this figure does come across very, very pale. And I mentioned that during its review. They, I think, have done a great, vast improvement on the upgrade of the paint on this guy, which, again, makes me hopeful for the Ultimate Part 2 Freddy, when we eventually get him, that maybe the paint is going to be a little richer than, uh, than what we may have gotten with the original guy here. Oh, and by the way, also mentioning to the fedora end of it, you can see how it is shaped slightly different. The rim is slightly pulled up on the one side versus flatter here on part three's Freddy. A very drastic change of sweater too. Now, of course, incorporating stripes on the sleeves, which was brought into us by Nightmare on Elm Street part two, of course, now is carried over pretty much from every, every other Nightmare movie had Freddy now with stripes on sleeves. But this, the, the torso and the head sculpt and everything else is quite good on this figure. I'll take the fedora off. Again, it's almost like a deja vu other than a smaller figure versus what the quarter scale figure had. Slightly resembling that of a pizza. Again, you've got the big open gash burned areas of Freddy's face. A very drastic change from Nightmare 2 Freddy, which we've looked at already in a previous video. Big glaring smile on his face like that. The sculpt in his eyes done also quite well. About the only thing I would say is the detriment to this figure is that he seems very shouldery. His shoulders not only seem very wide, but he seems very blocky. I don't know if a lot of that has something to do with the fact that they gave you an alternate torso piece, which again features the chest of souls. And it looks awesome, but I wonder if that adds to why this figure looks somewhat blockier than he really should be. There's the chest of souls. You can see how the sweater has been ripped away, draping down the side. Some great sculpts on all the faces that are on the chest of souls. It's remarkable to think that this is pre, this is pre CG really. So even like when they had the moving bodies inside the chest of souls, they basically had like a giant Freddy torso that was moving around. If you've ever seen the Never Sleep Again documentary, which is a fantastic watch. If you haven't, if you're a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, you gotta watch uh, Never Sleep Again. But essentially, they had like a giant torso, and they had real people moving around on the inside of it, and then the torso it fell over. I felt so bad. Just imagine this giant Freddy torso with little bodies, little people inside. Not little people, but people inside the torso moving around, and the whole thing collapsed. At any rate, though, uh, with this Freddy, you can swap out the torso, very similar to the quarter scale. I'm just going to pop this off, and it has four pegs, four peg holes, and then you just replace it with this, like that. And it looks nice. But again, it looks nice, but it looks blocky, too. Like, it makes his torso look very square. As, a more, as opposed to more rounded. It almost seems as if, too, they move the arms up as opposed to having them further down. And just kind of going back, this is not the greatest of comparisons, mind you, but going back to, say, let's bring in uh, one of the Freddy Kruegers. You can see how his, ar his shoulders naturally have a flow to them. He does look drastically blockier, uh, despite the fact that he's still got the chest of souls. So that's one thing I'm not crazy about with this particular figure, that he does look very square up at the torso area here. Now, much like with the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2 and Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1, there's distinct looks that I would have these characters probably posed as. Because the Chest of Souls is such a notable moment in the movie, displaying Freddy with the Chest of Souls could be a very plausible uh, route that I would go, because it is very unique to that movie. Kind of like Dream Master, where you had like the arms extending outward, and basically the 
the divine uh view, the divine light so to speak had all the souls the arms and stuff pulling out I wonder if we will ever get that Freddy, and I might even do a re-review of the original Freddy Krueger because it had all those cool arms and stuff like that. Maybe we may eventually get that for an Ultimate Part 4, where they may eventually entertain the idea of swapping out a torso, kind of doing the same thing as what we got right here with Freddy. But such a distinct, um, iconic look for this Freddy that probably would end, end up displaying him with this. If that not be the case, what I would also entertain the idea of displaying him with is taking the torso off. Replacing it back with the original torso. Still looking pretty square to me. One of the other and last of these as accessories that come included with the figure is he comes with the syringe fingers. Yes, that looks very cool. Now, he comes with this on his one gloved hand. And, of course, he comes with one for the other, the other hand as well. On the other hand. And to replace those, you just simply grab the arm. Watching, of course, mindful of the blades. There's the blades there. You can see that they've gotten slightly warped, and I've really only had them in the packaging, but I might have to just heat those up and bend them back into place. But we're gonna go ahead and just pop those into the the uh, wrist sockets. Here's the gloved hand. And then we'll do the same with the regular human hand or burned hand of Freddy. Just pop that off and replace it. I've mentioned this on several occasions now by the way that they incorporate all these other accessories, does enter entertain the idea of getting more than one of these figures. Um, the Chest of Souls is so iconic, but equally so, taking nothing away, the syringe fingers are also just as iconic for Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. Let's get high. And again, that, that looks so good. I mean, you can see that there's slight translucency to the syringes themselves. The syringes... Obviously, for the fact of making them fragile, they've met, made them a little bit more, a little bit more stumpy, as opposed to thin needles. Because obviously, those thin needles would break. Uh, but they do look quite good, though I have to admit. And uh, I do think that's probably one of the ways I'm going to display Freddy. If not, it would be the chest of souls for sure. Let's run through his posability, shall we? His head is on a ball joint, so it does move around. Quite easily. He's got the upper torso ball joint, ball joint legs, hinged knees, which also allow the rotation on the lower foot, and you've also got the ball, not quite ball joint, but you got a peg joint uh, allowing the foot to rotate and hinge up and down. You've got universal joints on the shoulders, so they allow full rotation going there, a bend at the elbow, the arms rotate, and of course you've got the same sort of thing on the hands. Uh, a great looking figure, it does come with all the cool accessories one would want with Freddy Krueger. It is really, truly the ultimate Freddy Krueger. We'll just get him to stand. Still considered by many to be the definitive favorite of the Nightmare on Elm Street sequels, still quite like A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. I have to say that my favorite still is Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4, The Dream Master. But it's certainly an entertaining watch, still nonetheless, to watch Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. And actually, it's one of my favorite movie posters of all time, which I have currently downstairs in my basement. Regarding this particular Ultimate Freddy, he does have all the necessary ingredients, you would say, to make yourself one delicious Freddy cake. I like the interchangeable chest of souls. I love the fact that they give you the syringe fingertips. And again, the interchangeable head is a nice touch as well. But the only thing I would say for a figure that could be slight, slightly off from being a perfect figure, the one thing I would say that doesn't make this figure perfect is the fact that his torso seems a little squared. And I wonder if a lot of that has something to do with the fact that NECA wanted to incorporate a chest of souls. I can't help but wonder that if the chest of souls wasn't included, Freddy's torso probably wouldn't have been this squared off. That being said, though, it's still a great figure. It's got some great coloring. It's got a great sculpt to it. And, of course, being that it's an ultimate Freddy Krueger, it's also got the posable legs, which is something that the original Freddy's didn't have. A great figure, nonetheless. Still can't wait for uh, the ultimate Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge Freddy, which should be released, I think, before the end of this year. So when he eventually gets released, I'll most definitely do a review of him. Today, though, we were having a look at the NECA toys. Uh, this was the Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3 Dream Warriors. This was Ultimate Freddy Krueger. If you like this video and certainly want to see more videos like this, make sure you've subscribed to this channel. And if you want to check out more Freddy Krueger videos, I've got Freddy Krueger playlist 
or specifically a Nightmare on Elm Street playlist dedicated solely for Freddy. So you want to go over and check that out if you ever want to just check out Freddy Krueger reviews. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.